afternoon, Scorpions, and welcome to Season 4 of Scorpion News. I'm Brandi Williams, your anchor for today, coming to you live. Yes, I mean live, right now in N20. This episode is being filmed by the amazing students in broadcasting. And with that being said, let's move on to our first segment, Did You Know? Did you know Hesperia High School is the first to broadcast live in the high desert in HD? Fun fact, seniors, if you are retaking the ELA portion of the Cassie, it will be November 5th, and the math portion will be November 6th. Can you believe we're almost done with half the year? Second progress reports come out next Friday. Time to get those grades up, up, up. Also next Friday will be the key game pep rally during lunch. Come out and support the Scorpion football players before they take down those Sultans. Now, let's go to Danielle for American Sign Language and Stephanie for Scorpion Highlights. Hello, I'm Danielle Sager, and I'm going to be teaching you the basics of American Sign Language. ASL is the language that deaf or hearing impaired American citizens use. The first phrase that you are going to learn is, how are you? Now, ASL is somewhat of a simple language. When signing, how are you, you are really only signing how you. There is no R. But anyone who knows how to sign will understand exactly what you are asking. Now, let's begin. This is the sign, how. And this is the sign, you. Now, all together. And one more time. And that's it until next time. If you're interested in learning more, come to the ASL Club on Thursdays during lunch in room S22. Make sure to watch the next episode for a new phrase. Hi, my name is Stephanie Hahn. I'm with Scorpion News, and I'm here today to see how much HHS knows about Black and Gold Regiment. Uh, let me walk over here. Hello, random HHS student. Uh, what do you know about um, Black and Gold Regiment? I actually don't know a lot about it, but I'd like to know more about it. I'm here with Michael McLean and Jessica Stokes, who is respectively the drum major and the assistant drum major to Black and Gold Regiment. Um, how long have you both been in a Black and Gold Regiment? Three years each. Three years each. And um, what are your responsibilities in Black and Gold Regiment? Uh, pretty much making sure that everybody is doing their job and everything is running smoothly if the director is not there, Mr. Cornova, and just to make sure that everybody has what they need. This is Isaiah Arguez and Sarah Gonzalez, percussion captains of Black and Gold Regiment. Hi, what does percussion or drumline do that contributes to the sound of Black and Gold Regiment? For the pulse and the feel, and we help keep it in time. And it seems like you guys contribute a lot of time into drumline. Um, how much do you guys like enjoy doing what you guys do? I actually enjoy it a lot. Um, music is like the only thing that where I actually lose myself. This is August Eldart from Color Guard, the division of Color Guard. Like, what do they do that's different from the rest? We're more of the visual aspect when we perform, while band and drumline do the sound. And what are some difficulties of being in Color Guard, and what are some uh, things that you enjoy about being in Color Guard? Well, the main difficulty would be to by staying together. And the parts that are fun for me is because I get to be a part of a group, a team. All right, that's all about uh, for Color Guard and Black and Gold Regiment. Hopefully, now that HHS knows more about this, they'll go to see more of their concerts and performance, and maybe even join some of their seasons. Man, I am so excited to sign. How are you? And that Black and Gold Regiment sure was looking sharp. Good job, you guys. Club Fair contains tomorrow, and man, am I stuck from those hot wings. Don't forget to bring your money again tomorrow for Subway Club combos and much, much more. Students interested in the blood drive, you must be at least 15 years of age and weigh 110 pounds. If you are 15 or 16, you need a parent permission slip, which can be picked up in the ASB room A4. If you are 16, if you are 17 and older, you still need to pick up the slip in A4 to schedule your appointment. The blood drive will be held in the gym November 14th. 
Big shout out to Drama for representing Hesperia High School at Festival last Saturday. Good job, you guys. Now, let's turn it over for Jessica and Karina for your Scorpion Sports. Good afternoon, Scorpions. I'm Jessica Mungia. And I am Karina Sandoval. And this is Scorpion Sports. To kick off this season's sports segment, we wanted to congratulate Lean Crew for getting everyone pumped up for the Oak Hills game with the tailgate party, rooter buses, and face paint. Although we didn't take home the win, we demonstrated a scorptastic amount of school spirit and pride. Great job, Scorpions. Last week, we witnessed our football players put a lot of effort into the homecoming game against Adelanto resulting into a winning score of 63-6. to six. Way to go, boys. Be sure to attend tomorrow's home game against Toronto. Be, be there or be square. square. We would also like to congratulate Bridget Labrado for last week's win at the Tennis MRL Finals and being named the singles champion. And now for this episode of Sports Highlight featuring girls tennis. I'm Bridget yep. Labrado, and I am the number one singles at Hesperia High School. What do you think is the most enjoyable aspect of playing tennis for Hesperia High School? Uh, I just think it's a really fun sport and you don't have to depend on anyone else and I just like representing our school and winning. Hi, I'm Samantha Ingraham and I play uh, junior varsity for the tennis team. I'm Cassie and um, I play number two singles for the girls tennis team at Hesperia. I love playing tennis, it's like the best thing I've ever done in my life. Girls tennis is the first sport to end this season, and following will be cross country, football, and volleyball within the next week or two. Be sure to go and cheer on basketball, soccer, and wrestling for the upcoming winter season. And that concludes this episode's sports segment. Till next time. Good job, ladies, and I can't wait to see our football team smash those Saltons. Well, that's all for Scorpion News. If you wish to contact us for more information, or suggestions for upcoming episodes, go to HesperiaBroadcasting.com. Follow us on Twitter at Scorpion News. Or text us at 760-713-6575. Till next time, I'm your anchor, Brandi Williams, and konnichiwa.